what's happening fellas feast your eyes on this classic bmw r75 slash 5 in the metallic blue and chrome livery it's an absolutely gorgeous piece this bike was restored mechanically by lance merton he's a mechanical engineer and bmw certified technician that works here and uh used to work at the bmw shop and has been through all the training is really really uh, uh well versed with these bikes so he took the bike right down to the frame um the engine was dismantled. He uh, tested the tolerances on the pistons, on the pistons and the cylinder, and the, and the rings. And uh, the, the piston was perfectly tight, so he just the bike. The bike's got thirty-three thousand miles, so he uh, just honed the cylinders and put new rings in it, new base gasket, and new head gasket. He did replace the valves, the push rods, and uh, I'm gonna grab the work order so I don't speak out of school here. But um, I got a three page work order on the bike uh, 62 hours of shop labor we put quite a bit of time and money into this bike um, so I'll just read down the list so I don't get it wrong here um, new spark plugs new UASA battery uh, new ignition points and condensers uh, re removed disassembled cleaned and rebuilt the carburetors uh, used the Bing carb rebuild kits uh, the fuel tank on it is brand new that's not a repainted tank that's a brand spanking new fuel tank it looks Fresh on the inside, fresh on the outside, because it is new. If you take a look inside, that's one thing with a lot of vintage bikes. Inside of the tanks might be kind of yucky. This one's brand new, as is the cat and the BMW logos on it and the fuel petcocks. Um, new fuel petcocks, new fuel lines and clamps. We're running non-ethanol fuel in it. The air box was cleaned and a new air filter installed. Um, the, again, the top end was completely overhauled. Disassembled, inspected, has new replacement intake valves, new replacement exhaust valves, new replacement lifters, new replacement push rods, new replacement piston rings, and wrist, uh, new replacement piston wrist pin clips. The cylinders were honed, uh, base and top, uh, head gasket, top end gasket kit, and the engine was cleaned and reassembled with fresh oil. He adjusted the valves. Um, it uh, has a new oil pressure switch gearbox and final drive oils were, were changed um, it has a brand new starter on it a new starter relay switch a new replacement horn new mirrors no new OEM style hand grips lube and adjusted the cables um, new foot peg rubbers new Dunlop K70 tires front and rear so uh, if you look closely you still got the hairy nubs on the tires that brand spanking new and they're pretty correct proper uh, modern compound period design Dunlop K70s new tubes front and rear the front and rear fender were professionally painted in-house by Dean take a close look at the paint job on that front fender man it's freaking absolutely stunning uh, he painted the front fender and striped it the uh, it says here he professionally painted the tank also so I, I believe he painted the gas tank and the fenders um, to match so uh, it's a new tank with a brand new paint job on it the whole bike was 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 uh, steam cleaned, hand washed, degreased. All the aluminum on it was polished. They polished the wheels. Take a close look at the shock bodies on the top; those were polished. The all, all the uh, metal surfaces on the engine were cleaned properly to original spec. Um, went through the entire bike, top to bottom, front to back. Uh, just an absolutely stunning classic 750 Boxer Twin. It's very simple, air cooled, time tested design. These are. A lot of guys are using these as daily drivers because they're absolutely bulletproof. They're fun to ride, they're fuel efficient, they're uh, investment, a good investment quality bike. So if you bought a bike like this five years from now, whatever you pay for it, it's gonna be worth more versus if you spend 15,000 on a new bike and in five years it's worth seven, in 10 years it's worth five. And then uh, you know, at around the 20 year mark, they start going back up. This is a 1975 guys. so. It's almost 50 years old. The, the, the 24 models will be coming out in a few months. So in about 16 months, this bike will, will officially be 50 years old, 5-0. Um, I'm going ri to ride it. I should have told you that uh, and give you a nice riding demo on it. The exhaust system on this bike is a looped Meister, and it has an awesome rumble to it. It sounds like a performance bike. Well, it is a performance bike, and that really... Um, you know, visually adds a lot to it too, the black exhaust. The original R75 5 logo on the back of the seat is intact. The original, I'm 95% sure this is original seat upholstery, but I'm not 100% sure that it's in excellent condition. Um, it's got new Magura 
grips. Uh, the levers are, are polished aluminum, uh, has new mirrors on it. Um, just an absolutely beautiful piece. It runs like a brand new motorcycle. It looks like a brand new motorcycle. have it folks this thing's an absolute hoot it uh definitely a uh, good highway bike super stable it handles like a dream these these uh dunlop k70s are a nice sticky compound they, they look, still got the hairy treads on them so a nice fresh rubber uh, everything's been gone through i probably forgot i'm sure we forgot some of the things we did on it because bill kelly who actually um did the final work order commented and said you know we, we our first work order on this bike started a year ago Lance started working on this a year ago, and you know we, we get we quite often will have 60 plus bikes in the shop getting worked on um, simultaneously. So waiting for parts, it's been on and off the bench a bunch of times, <coughs> but it's done. It's ready for a new home, and uh, like I said, Lance is a mechanical engineer and a BMW certified technician who completely went through. It's got the new paint. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is with 62 hours of labor plus parts. We just broke ten thousand dollars on on the work order uh, between parts and labor, so a substantial amount of money has been invested into it and and time, uh, plus the initial purchase price. So um, she's pretty, but she ain't cheap. This is uh, this has been an expensive project getting this dialed in. So if you have any questions about it, give us a call eight six zero four five four. Excuse me, seven zero two four. We can help you with shipping anywhere in the United States or worldwide. And we do offer financing with Freedom Road. <coughs> Freedom Road financing in-house here. So just give us a call if we can help you in any way. Thanks for watching. God bless America.